Well, President Joe Biden arrives in India today for the G20 summits, just as a new poll shows how tight his reelection bid could be here in the United States. And one of the big names being mentioned as a possible Republican challenger is from right here in Virginia. Doug Luzader has more from Washington, D.C. on the race for the White House. We are still more than a year away from the general election, but this new poll may be setting off alarm bells at the White House. President Joe Biden departing for the long flight to the G20 in India, where he hopes to show off his foreign policy chops. But some tough news for his re-election bid here at home, with a CNN poll showing him trailing or tied with just about every Republican 2024 candidate in hypothetical head-to-head -head matchups. Still, his campaign co-chair isn't worried. Now that the campaign starts, we go out and we talk about all the things that we've accomplished. Far and away the winner in that poll, former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley. They need to know the difference between right and wrong. After a breakout debate performance, she leads Biden by six percentage points. There are a lot of Democrats who would tell you that she's probably the candidate they're most scared of. But former President Trump is still the runaway leader in the GOP race right now. And he's set to pick up a key endorsement today at a rally in South Dakota with that state's governor, Kristi Noem, fueling speculation that she could be a running mate. We'll have some conversations at the rally that I think everybody will be interested in. And there are still whispers about Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin as a possible late entrant to the GOP race. His signature issue has been education. I think... It's an issue, I think, for Republicans that can appeal to these swing voters, the suburban voters. And there's no question that Youngkin's star is on the rise among Republicans, but it would be difficult for any candidate to enter the race at this point with the next Republican debate less than three weeks away. In Washington, Doug Luzader, Fox News.